So here's the data that we just acquired. Let's make this a little bit bigger. We can grab the corner and drag it down like that. And all right. Um, so let's look at the data first of all and identify the times that things happened. So first the device was just sitting there. Then I gave it a shove. So from about here to about here, I was pushing on it and I wasn't pushing very evenly since I looks like I gave it sort of two pushes, but that's fine. So I was pushing. Then my hand left the device and from about there over to about there, it was slowing down and it finally stopped. So we need to figure out how fast was it moving when it just left the hand right here. And the change in velocity is just the acceleration times the time. So if I just select this region right here, I can see what the average acceleration was. It was about two meters per second squared. And the time during which this acceleration took to stop the device was about 0.3 seconds. So a little over 0.3 times a little over two, which is a little over 0.6 that is the change in the velocity. So it must have been moving at about 0.6 meters per second right here to begin with. The other thing you can do is remember back to um, calculus and realize that the change in velocity is the integral of the acceleration plot. And in fact, the integral is just the area of this blue thing right here, which is given by this number that's already being displayed here, 0.62 meters per second. So that is the same as the thing I just said, about 0.6 meters per second is the change in its velocity as it goes from moving 